In this video, you're going to learn how to finish your IPsec VPN instance. Look at this diagram. It's a very standard side-to-side -side IPsec VPN topology. There are two sides, FW1 and FW2. With IPsec VPN, the LAN network segment under FW1 and FW2 could communicate with each other directly using the private IP address. In our video, let's focus on the configuration of FW1. This is FW1. The basic network configurations had been done. The IPsec VPN function is in network, VPN, IPsec VPN. Click new in IKE VPN list. The first step is to create a peer. Click new and provide the peer information. First, the peer name. In our case, we could use FW2. And for the interface, it will be the Y interface of FW1 itself. And the peer IP would be the public IP address of FW2. And then the proposal. Just choose one of them in the list. And after choosing the proposal start with PSK, it means the pre-shield key would be used. We would use Houston in our case. And for the phase 2 configuration, first name the tunnel, like 2 FW2. And then the mode would be tunnel. And uh, then choose one of the proposals in the list. For the test, we would suggest you to check the option Auto Connect so that the device would start the negotiation after click OK. Now, usually, the tunnel would be up in a minute. You can check the VPN status in IPC VPN Monitor. Check both SA status. If the IPC SA become active, that means the tunnel is up. Let's wait for a few seconds. Okay, now you can see the IP circuit is active. That means the tunnel is up. Back to the topology. It means the IP circuit tunnel is up now. But for FW1, you can see there are a lot of type of traffics. There are IPsec traffics and also there are traffics sent to internet. So we need to perform a link select for the FW1. Let's continue the configuration. The interface, we need to create a new tunnel interface. For example, tunnel 1. And the tunnel interface is naturally a L3 interface. So you need to bend it to a L3 zone, for example, VPN hub. There's no need to assign IP address for the tunnel interface because the tunnel is a P2P link. And in the bottom, bend the IPsec VPN to the tunnel interface. And then create root for the link select. In root, destination root, click new. We would send all the VPN traffic to the tunnel interface. So the destination IP address would be the remote LAN IP address. In our case, it would be 192.168.20.0.24. And the next two would be interface, tunnel interface. Click OK. And uh, there is another step need to be done because we have introduced a new zone here. We have banned the tunnel interface to zone VPN hub. So to allow the traffic in and out, we need to create two policy. First, to allow the traffic out, the VPN traffic will be from trust to VPN hub permit. And also for the reverse direction, 
from Weeping Hub to Trust Permit. Click OK. That's all the configurations for the IPsec VPN. Thank you for watching. Please visit kb.hillstonenet.com for more details in the document library.